Some of you guys may or may not have gotten the email from Personas about the new updates concerning the price. With everything being more simplified, yes, Studio One Seven is finally announced. It is scheduled to release fully on October 9th, 2024. And I'm looking at the pricing and I've gotten a couple of comments on the live stream that I did not too long ago in terms of the pricing. And I hope to clarify things here because I was kind of confused myself looking at this details in front of me. So I'm going to try to dissect it as best as I can. And if I'm wrong about anything, of course, you guys know to be subscribed to the channel, first of all, and like it, of course, I will be giving you guys updates or, you know, as I get new information. So this is my first iteration to my take on the pricing. So as of right now, if you are a existing Studio One user, meaning if you still rocking with Studio One One. If you got Studio One Two, or if you rock in Four, I've I've heard from several of you guys. Some of you guys are still in Four, which is totally fine. You know what I mean? If you decide to upgrade, I looking at that video that they put on a channel. It looks as if anyone is eligible to upgrade to the one forty nine ninety nine. If you are an existing user. I know in the, in the beginning of the video it was kind of confusing because we some of us was thinking like wait so you you if you have six you can have this price what about the people who are still in five and four and blah 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 you know what I mean so the video kind of started off confusing a little bit when it when it started talking about this but. Towards the end, I promise you, if you just watch the video towards the end, I believe it was Joe that took it away and broke it down. So you just have to go to the end and, and get better clarity for yourself. If you are a new user, the price is $199.99. That's U.S. currency. Not a lot of people are happy about that because a lot of us in earlier years, we paid three ninety nine, four ninety nine, something like that. I think it was like four ninety nine at one point to have the pro version of Studio One. It is now one ninety nine ninety nine. I'm gonna go ahead and say it kind of makes sense right now because if you want more people on your platform, you got to do something in favor of people. It's always a cost thing with people. Make it accessible for people. I believe right now, Logic Pro is still 200 bucks. That's a competitive price. So I want to say that they are competing with Logic. That's just my assumptions. You know, this, you know, I don't want to get in trouble for that. But I mean, they're both the same price. So you, you are certainly competing with student with logic pro yeah so if you're a new user and that's the perpetual license you you own it outright now if you are someone who wants to take advantage of the annual plan which is now their studio one pro plus sound you hear how simplified that sounds studio one pro plus is what unlocks all of the other things that they provide and that price is one seventy nine ninety nine per year. Now, I want to say that that is not having the perpetual license. This is just if you want access to everything. The one seventy nine ninety nine a year is what it is. I don't see a monthly deal on here, so I probably have to go to the website and verify if. This breaks down to a monthly and, and most likely if you're going to pay monthly, if it's available, you know, it's probably going to be a little more. So it's always if you pay one lump sum, you're going to save there. So again, that's not with the perpetual license. I believe that's just, you know, now 
here's good news. In the video, we stumbled upon the part where they said, now moving forward, all of the instruments and whatnot will be included in those that have the perpetual license of Studio One, which is a good thing. Because at first, the way that this was going was they was releasing instruments and they were only making it available to the people who was paying the subscription. And that, my friends, that stirred up a big pot of ugly. And so they fixed that problem. And I think a lot of what's happening right now is just them listening to the community. You know what I mean? And they are like taking charge and moving in favor of the community. So I think that's a great thing. And that th that is, I respect personas for doing that. They've always listened to us, you know. I don't know what the process is getting to features. Like if you request something that you would like to see, there's still a lot of, of things that we are waiting. And so we are hoping to see that in seven. Some stuff that we've been complaining about for years, like the sampler, note effects, well, that might be my list, but those type of things we've been asking for. I, I, I know the community been really been asking for a a revised sampler or a new sampler. You could throw us new stuff. You could leave sample one in there and call the new samplers sample two. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Sa sampler two, you, whatever you want to call it, but more an event a more advanced sampler and um so far and i know persona is going to be watching this video so far in the comment section of the previous videos as i'm you know expound on this this new endeavor there there has already been people who've been saying that i'm not upgrading until i see a new sampler or advanced you know updated or whatever so People are already in there like bulldogs, like, bruh, <laughs> I don't care what y'all doing. We need a sampler. We need an updated one. And that's been the community talking. So hopefully this video kind of extend if it's not in there already. And if it's in there, then well done, personas. You know what I mean? But, uh. That is the updates. I hope that made sense in terms of like the pricing structure. So yes, if you have five, you can upgrade your your situation to one forty nine ninety nine. Now that is your upgrade. If you have three, you can upgrade at one forty nine ninety nine. If you are new, yes, you can buy this at one ninety nine ninety nine. Absolutely. Now, in terms of like the upgrades and how that works, I think that might be a little confused confusion right there because if so, I'm I'm trying to wrap my mind around it myself. And again, I will come back with updates because I'm pretty sure somebody is going to tell me or clarify even further. But if anyone upgrading to one forty nine ninety nine. Or a new user coming in and buying it at one ninety nine ninety nine. Is that just buying Studio One Seven? You know what I mean. So this yearly deal that's happening with the more frequent updates, and and I got to commend them on that. You know what I mean? Because it, it looked like they made a point in saying, okay, we we've been doing these updates in a two year span. But now we shorten it in one year. So if we shorten it in one year, so what does that mean? Okay, when, st when Studio One Seven comes out, it's going to go through its gear process. Then the next year, the following year, is that going to be Studio One Eight? And is that where you guys introduce us to another one forty nine ninety nine? Because then at that point, um. It's starting to get a little expensive. It kind of feels like you paying for a subscription, so to speak. You know what I mean? Like, I got to say right off back, I think 
based on what I see, it looks like they're taking the model of Bitwig. Bitwig kind of works like this. If you are a Bitwig user, you're going to pay whatever it is to get in, right? And then your upgrade price is 129 or something like that if you get it early or something like that. If you wait, it's going to be 169 or something like that, you know, and that's yearly. So, yeah, Bit Bitwig is on a yearly subscription. But the thing with Bitwig is whatever happened between that 24 month period. So I think we have Bitwig, whatever version, say, say Bitwig 8. Say we have Bitwig 8, right? And then, you know, you buy into it, then Bitwig 9 come out. And then, then we go to Bitwig 10. Within that year, you get all of those updates. Boom. You're not paying per upgrade, if you know what I mean. You're paying per year. And whatever happens in that time, you get upgrade. You get the upgrades included in your time frame. That's how Bitwig works. So if personas decide to say, okay, we're going to push seven and then three months later, if we're going to go to eight. Then that means everybody has access to it. You don't have to pay nothing because you're in, I'm not saying that that's going to happen. That's of course, that's not going to happen. That wouldn't make sense to them, but I'm just saying like, what does that mean for us? So as I get more clarity, there's probably going to be a part two to to this. Um, they're working to make things more like simplified, but it's still a lot of questions here. And um, yeah, moving forward, definitely. So that's why you should you guys should be subscribed to the channel. I'm Ella. Remember, lifestyle, government part.